What's up, BOSUs? I do feel how I look, which is exhausted. Live letter came out. I basically picked the most important things, give you what they mean, and tell you how they affect you. Let's just jump right into it because this live letter is super thick with three C's. Also, make sure to hit like on this video. It really helps push it out to other people and helps with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you. New MSQ, no action needed, just catch up so then you can play the new MSQ that comes out. The story has been riveting and I've absolutely loved it. Uh, I'm interested to see where they go next with it. New side quests, this is Tataru's Grand Adventure as well as further Hildebrand Adventures. I'm assuming you have to do the Hildebrand Adventures in order to continue the Manderville Relic quest. Fortunately and unfortunately for those who enjoy Hildebrand, you're going to have to continue if you don't enjoy. So sorry. <laughs> the relic usually is biz or best in slot for a little bit for casual and semi casual players. So it is worth doing if you have one. New tribal quests, Lala prints are coming. I'm so excited. I've been wanting this as a crafter quest for a while and I'm interested to see what mount they give. I'm hoping it's the mechanical bunny one. If you know, you know, to be given as the mount for that beast tribe. I'm really interested to get started and i'm kind of shocked that it's coming so quick new alliance raid we are getting the second version of the new endwalker alliance raid essentially how it works is on alliance raid or aglia one you would get coins and now on the second one you're going to get a different type of coin and you'll need a coin from one and two in order to get biz gear that's going to come out so you're essentially going to have to do Aglia and this new Alliance raid once a week in order to get the coins needed to turn in for the next set of gear that it's going to offer. We're getting a new deep dungeon. I am not the biggest fan of deep dungeons, but I know a lot of people do love that kind of like 16 bit kind of thing of just going through different levels. We have Palace of the Dead and Heaven on High, and then this one's going to be Eureka Orthros, Orthros. You're going to have to get to Palace of the Dead level 50 in order to unlock this dungeon. If you haven't done that yet, you can join our Discord for the NA and European data centers. We have quite a growing community for those data centers, and we're going to be setting up Palace of the Dead clearing parties um, over the next couple of weeks. So make sure to join down below if you want to do that and are interested in that. They are adding more duty support in for Heaven's Ward. I have really enjoyed duty support thus far. If you didn't know, it's basically so NPCs can run with you in the dungeon instead of you having to queue with a party. This does two things. One, it gives people who want to be introverted and play solo a better option in doing that. But for those who don't know, it actually gives a lot of lore and backstory to the dungeon and area. And you only get certain phrases that pop up to tell you stuff when you're playing with the NPC. So it's actually really quite awesome for lore buffs out there. New job adjustments. They don't usually ever tell you what they're going to adjust until the day before the patch drop, but they're going to make some adjustments. And of course, they're not going to do Dragoon or Astro, but they did say from what I saw that they're going to rework Paladin rotation, um, which I can see why they might want to avoid Dragoon and Astro, but I don't personally find anything wrong with the Paladin rotation, but maybe there is enough fiasco that people had complained and wanted a difference in Paladin rotation. I quite like the melee and magic portion of it. it makes me feel kind of balanced, but I'm interested to see where they're going to change it to. Crafting and gathering. I am an Omni crafter. I love crafting and gathering. Thank you for all my love on my crafter video for relics. I have the gatherer relics video coming out soon. We're getting new relics for crafting and gathering. So you know your boy is going to be on that. It's one of my favorite things to do in game. I can't wait to start getting those new relics. With new crafter and gather gear, normal gear coming out, you're going to want to stock up on your materia because you're going to be melding a lot. And if you have enough material, you can sell it and usually make like a gigantic ton of gill because so many people are going to be melding and melding is really the true savage of Final Fantasy 14. New Island Sanctuary update, which is strange to me because I thought they said they were going to wait until um, 6.4, but I'm happy nonetheless. We're going to get new ranks, new items, animals, and structures, which one is here. I think it's super cool. I'm interested to see how much they expand it. They also did say that they're working on being able to place garden furniture, like outdoor furniture. That would change the game. If you can place and build on Island Sanctuary with housing items, that's gonna be a game changer. So hopefully they can get to that sooner rather than later. 
new hunting treasure maps, which is the second version of the 90s map we already have out. So if you have maps or you do maps regularly, we're getting basically the version where it's just a rotating room. You don't have to go through different levels. We do maps all the time in my discord every Friday for stream. I stream Tuesdays and Fridays. And so I know a lot of them are very excited about that coming out for maps on Friday. Last but certainly not least, they dropped this entire bomb on us. We're getting 1800 new housing plots per server. So that's essentially at minimum 10,000 or more plots per data center. That is gigantic. I don't think anyone saw that coming. I'm going to do a separate video on the housing specifically. If you want a house, now is the time to save up your money in order to enter that lottery. I'm trying out a new style of live letter because I just don't feel the need to expand on a lot of these things that don't need it. And I just want to get the information to you, tell you how it affects you. You can move on with your day. On the topics that require, I will do deeper videos like the housing video that I want to put out. So if you like this style of video, please make sure to like and comment, hit that subscribe button as it really helps with my YouTube algorithm. I do want to give a huge shout out to my Discord community. We have grown so much and working so hard towards building a rich, full community of people who just really enjoy this game. We have some really great announcements coming up as official free companies for my YouTube channel will be coming out on the Goblin Data Center and the Phantom Data Center. If you're interested in joining our free company with your main character, go ahead and join our Discord, talk in main chat, ask the people. We haven't launched yet, but we are getting the word out there. I'm so excited for it and I'm just excited to have such an amazing Discord community. So thank you guys for all the support and all the help. If you guys want to watch more Final Fantasy guides and tutorials, then you can click here.